Hello everyone, it is Saturday morning. I'm about to head up to uptown-ish, kind of like midtown east uptown. Um, we're going to a Louis Vuitton exhibit. They're doing like a trunk showcase in honor of their 200th birthday, I think. I saw it on Instagram and it's open until December 31st. So my friend and I are gonna go check it out. It's free to go, you just have to register online. I'll try and find the link if I remember. I don't even know if I'm gonna end up vlogging this weekend. I wasn't intending to, but I thought I might as well film a clip just because it could be cool if I film anything at Louis Vuitton or whatever. I don't know, I was just like, I'm ready. I'm early for the train. Might as well show you my outfit and we'll see if this vlog goes anywhere. <laughs> but it is a sunny but freezing cold outside Saturday, so. I feel like I'm gonna be warm, but I think I might be freezing my butt off. Last night we were out late for a concert in the cold and it was windy and it was brutal. But today I have more layers on, so I'm more prepared. I have this cut out cold shoulder sweater from Newly. You can't even see my shoulder. I swear it's there. <laughs> and this coat is also from Newly. I showed it in my last vlog. It's super long, but I think that'll be good to keep my legs warm because I'm wearing leggings. Yeah, so I'm wearing black leggings, Princess Polly boots, black sweater. I'm just wearing all black and then this plaid coat over it. So, I'm so excited. It's my last weekend here in New York before I head home for Thanksgiving on Monday. And I need to pack this weekend. I have some fun plans along the way, but also need to get some stuff done. I wanna put up my tree. You know what, I really should be vlogging because that's important. And this will be a real tree. The first one was kind of a flop. Also, I have this wreath up that I put above my bed. And I put it there yesterday, and it did not fall overnight. So, that's a win. I'm gonna go get the train, and let's see what this exhibit is all about. I'm meeting my friend for coffee beforehand around the corner, and then we'll just bop around. <laughs> Sunday morning. I'm gonna go for a little walk and go pick up a gluten-free bagel. I don't really have groceries here because I'm leaving in 24 hours. So I'm gonna go to a place that sells gluten-free bagels and it's sunny outside. It's probably freezing so I'm putting on this thick fuzzy jacket over a sweatshirt and I just want to be bundled and warm. I feel like I filmed a fair amount in the Louis Vuitton exhibit but it was so cool, you guys. It was so much bigger than I expected. I didn't realize there was 200 trunks for the 200th birthday, I mean, it makes sense. But I just thought it was like, you know, a select couple, few rooms, maybe like one or two floors. And it just went on and on. Every single one was so elaborate and like the stories that you heard from some artists. It was very cool. So and I'm not even someone who's into designer kind of stuff. Like it's not really my forte. 
um but just like the creativity going into the trunks and everything even if you're not a louis vuitton fan i think it's cool to see so very fun and it's free after that we walked around uptown a little bit we tried to go to the plaza but i didn't realize that their food court thing was closed now and so there really wasn't much that we could see as non-patrons we went to this rooftop bar that i've had bookmarked for a bit called darling it's in the park lane hotel and it's overlooking central park it's so cool um, I do wish it was open during the day because the day view would be so insane. Um, but when we went, at least it opened at 5 p.m. So it was dark, but it was still gorgeous. And then we met up with some friends downtown. I was supposed to go to karaoke with them after we were at this bar for a couple hours in East Village. It wasn't feeling well, not like sick, but I just felt like kind of headachey. And I don't know, I just was like, I should probably just go home and sleep. So I came back and went to bed. And I think that's for the best because I still feel like I didn't sleep much even though I got to bed at like midnight and now it's Sunday so today's the day I'm going to put up my Christmas tree pack for my trip tomorrow I want to work out wash my hair get everything ready to jump on a plane at 7 a.m. because it's a bright and early morning tomorrow so that's what's on the agenda let's go get a bagel I'm so excited <laughs> Secured the bagel. <laughs> Yum. I never order bagels anymore, honestly. Like, I usually just eat at home. But they just opened a place that has gluten-free ones, like, not far from me. So, that might be dangerous. <laughs> I get bacon, egg, and avocado on a gluten-free bagel. And their gluten-free bagels are, like, good. They're, like, fluffy. This is P.O. bagel. This is going to bring me to life. Happy Sunday, folks. It's time for the changing of the guard. I'm gonna remove the fall leaves and the lights and the little pumpkins and put up my Christmas scenario. guy <laughs> i don't think i'm gonna actually decorate it with ornaments until i get back from thanksgiving so that'll be like a fun after thanksgiving activity i do have some ornaments already so he'll just be a little naked but at least he has lights it's kind of like charlie brown christmas tree vibes but i'm kind of here for it it's very on brand for me <laughs> also this is not how that's gonna look i just kind of wanted to throw them up there and i'll judge all of these but we can add some trees Okay, I really need to start packing, but I'm gonna work out instead. Also, this workout outfit looks terrible together, but I was like, I'll just throw out a pair of leggings that I know I'm not gonna pack, and they're these like pink calf ones from Fabletics, and this purple just clashing all around but I don't know what I'm gonna do in the gym yet I'm just excited to do some treadmill walking and listening to music mostly and then I'll just kind of go from there what I want to do the last workout I did was full body so I could kind of go either way um and I'm not really sore anymore so we'll just see what speaks to me let's go <laughs> Look how cute my tree looks when it's dark outside. Oh, so cozy and I just love Christmas lights. I'm about to watch Natalie Barbu's vlog while I'm packing. I've already put a few things in my suitcase and then I just pulled out, these are all the like sweaters and tops that I'm bringing. 
pretty much just a bunch of neutral sweaters <laughs> is what I'm wearing for the next week. I don't really have anything dressy that I need to dress for. I was having a hard time motivating myself even though I already knew most of the stuff I was gonna bring. Didn't really have to make big decisions. But now we're just throwing it in the suitcase. I gotta get to bed soon, honestly. It's a little past nine. I was gonna watch the new White Lotus episode, but I kinda wanna give my full attention to it. So I don't think that's gonna happen because I also wanna go to sleep, hopefully, in like an hour or so. Okay, everyone, it's almost 11. <laughs> And I just finished packing. I just have last minute toiletries that I'm gonna add in the morning when I wake up and brush my teeth and all that. So right now I have my alarm scheduled for 4.30 a.m. So it's about five hours of sleep. And I am going to schedule my taxi right now, which is always a necessity the night before a flight. Sometimes it can be iffy to get them at the moment, especially at like weird hours. Scheduling a taxi on Curb, which is the New York Yellow Cab app. To tomorrow at 5 a.m. Oh, I almost did 5 p.m., that's not right. It's usually very quick to get through security there. Um, the terminal that I go to is pretty small. And now I can sleep peacefully knowing that someone will pick me up in the morning. Did my skincare. I ran the dishwasher, took out trash. I think I'm good to go. I'm just gonna unplug. All right, dishwasher. I'm gonna unplug the lights, which is very sad, so I'm not gonna film it because it's just depressing. But then go to sleep, so good night. And I will see you guys on the road bright and early. <laughs> Um, oh shoot, I forgot to put my straightener in here. My car is gonna be here in like two minutes. I gotta do that, and it's 26 degrees outside. Pray for me. <laughs> We don't have a turkey yet. We attempted to purchase one here. <laughs> yes. The tr tell the tragic turkey story. <laughs> Someone take pity on us and sponsor us with a turkey. Um, Send it tonight. Anyway, what do we need next? Next well, on the agenda. Back. Somehow I got pepperoni sticks on my list. I Happy Thanksgiving. We're having pepperoni like, sticks what? instead of turkey. Why would that get on there? Anyway. <laughs> so I need sausage for the um, stuffed mushrooms. Okay, and we already walked past that. So we have to go back up that way. Back we go. And I hope we have enough dried cranberries because I don't, but don't you look at my Tragic. recipe. <laughs> I'm just, just sitting here. Showing, my dad goes, take a look at this. <laughs> Can you explain so, your thought process of why you have the end of a charger broken well, off? <laughs> this is intentional, he said. For two reasons. First of all, I wanted, Science. I wanted the, the cord uh, to keep because I tie things up with it. It is so strong. You could just but like also, buy rope, but... Yeah, but it's stronger than rope. It's stronger than rope, well, well, an iPhone it. charger. It's got... No, yep, look at this. First of all, it's got a, um, a cloth exterior. That it does? Then it's, then it's got a, uh, a plastic cover. It's got coating. wire? No, then there's a wire, no. <laughs> a sheath wire all the way around it. And then there was a foil and that came off when I cut it open. Uh -huh. And then there's three wires, each one of a different size inside that. Yeah, this one's not frayed, so you can see inside. It's just a so circular. Super strong. Yeah. But it, but it wasn't working anymore. It was a, it was a like a long one, you know, a ten foot. Yeah, I think I bought these on Amazon. Yeah. Um, but yeah, these are the kind that tend to fray, like when they start bending here. Yeah. Well, I, glued, I glued it. Did it work yeah, when you glued yeah, it? it didn't, 
You can see where I glued it. Oh, and it stayed in place? But Usually some stayed, electrical tape will do that. It stayed in place, but it still didn't work. Damn. So. Well, now we know something well, more about the inside of an iPhone charger thanks to your science experiment. Thank you. Now it's, <laughs> now it's a rope. It's a rope ready to be employed. <laughs> Someone employ this rope and also me, please. Okay, guys, I pretty much didn't really talk through what was going on, but I got to Oregon yesterday. I flew in through Seattle and then got here at like 1 p.m yesterday and it's been so nice being back with the fam and back in chilly rainy actually it's been well it's not snowy here anymore there's like some snow hanging on to the ground in places but it's warming up this week so it's melting a little bit but just back in the mountains you know I have missed it dearly so the last 24 hours today's Tuesday I flew in yesterday um I've just been chilling hanging with the fam and catching up and I was pretty much just gonna do this vlog as my weekend slash traveling to Oregon on Monday and then I didn't end it last night so I figured I owed you a little ending clip I'm in the car right now and I'm about to do what I've been looking forward to for so long which is drive around blasting midnights <laughs> and I think I'll probably go to a coffee shop I have my laptop so I can edit and get caught up in any like work stuff. Um, I didn't bring a camera with me to vlog this week. So I think the whole thing is just going to be on my phone. So hopefully that's okay. I, I still have my, cause my camera that I vlog on in my apartment is very big and I didn't really want to like carry it traveling and everything. And I still have my G7X, but it's having memory card reading issues and I can't fix it, so I brought it, and I might have my dad take a look at it and see if he can figure it out. Well, look an iPhone charger. Look at this guy. No, but I think it's like something internal with the actual hardware, so I don't know that I'll be able to film on it, but usually I would car vlog with that kind of camera. Gonna go to a coffee shop and post up for a bit and listen to music and just be thriving. So I think that'll do it for this vlog. Um, thanks for watching. It's been fun. Actually, I well, I can put this in the next vlog. I'm gonna be vlogging the rest of the week, so stay tuned for like the full little Oregon vlog after this. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this little preview. Subscribe, follow me on TikTok. I'm gonna be posting more TikToks this week. I really wanna do TikToks from home. And I already have some ideas. <laughs> and Instagram, of course, I'm like posting stories every day. So love you guys so much. See you next time. Bye.